locked up tighter than Fort Knox. <laughs> it's the quintessential illustration of the phrase, well guarded. But there are some places with ultra high security that will blow your mind. And before you get too shocked this morning, why not grab a cup and lift it up as I say welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. It's kind of like getting toasted for joining me. <laughs> well, my goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and then share it with a friend. The level of protection at Fort Knox is beyond normal comprehension. The security protecting the $180 billion of gold includes an entire division of U.S. Army troops, the command unit running security for U.S. Central Command, and the counterintelligence agency whose mission is to detect and neutralize threats. 30,000 soldiers with orders that allow deadly force. Hey, jump the fence at the White House or Buckingham Palace and you're getting arrested for sure. The soldiers at Fort Knox don't even carry handcuffs, just firearms. <laughs> well, today's verse says, The Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. When you've angered multiple governments by making their secrets available on the internet, you'd better be keeping them somewhere safe. Julian Assange's Swedish bunker protecting the WikiLeaks servers certainly qualifies. An abandoned nuclear bomb shelter a hundred feet underground, it's designed to withstand a direct nuclear strike. A thousand miles of open land in every direction makes it tough to sneak up on. Even so, the Lord God Almighty isn't guarding Assange's secret lair. But he is guarding you. The Lord will rescue followers of Jesus from every evil deed and bring us safely into his heavenly kingdom. He keeps us from evil and he keeps our life. And by that I mean our real life, the eternal one he has promised to guard and protect. Not only that, he promised to establish you. Now that word usually points to the beginning of a relationship. Someone might say something like, uh, our company was established in 1835. Or it can mark a significant turning point, like our relationship with the crown was established in 1948. Establishment carries with it the expectation of action. Nobody establishes something and then does nothing. The Lord is faithful who will establish you. If you've made the decision to follow Jesus, the crown, and I mean the ultimate one, by the way, has established you and chartered your relationship of service. Your service to the king will require commitment. As you step out into his service and commit your work to the Lord, you'll find that both you and your plans will be established. And the really good news is that it's not here on earth the Lord intends to truly establish you, but in the eternal realm that awaits your arrival. Your service to the king could also require suffering, even if only deeply emotional, but quite possibly physical as well. And we need to keep in mind that after we've suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called us to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish us. The word for suffering is a word that talks about a passion, a, a deep-seated emotion. Because as his heart is poured into us, we feel pain for the things that cause him pain. The, the lost people who don't know him yet. Your service to the king will come with his protection. He will guard you from evil. He'll guard you from the evil one. You know, heads of state are the most protected people on the planet, naturally. 
The list of the most protected places in the world includes storage facilities for gold bullion, such as the Bank of England's vault, Fort Knox, and the Federal Reserve Bank in New York. No one's surprised that Guantanamo Bay, a prison for noted terrorists, the Korean DMZ, or even the ADX Supermax prison are ultra-secure. But a parking garage? Yeah, crazy as this sounds, the Park Safe Garage in Derby, the United Kingdom, is regularly listed as one of the most secure places on the planet. Cars get assigned to specific bays. Sensors and cameras follow the car to make sure it gets to the right spot safely and that the driver is not accosted. Cameras and motion sensors can alert the security team who can lock down every door with the push of a button. <laughs> it has better security than most banks on the planet and is the safest place in the world to park your car. And it's located in Cathedral Quarter. Now, whether you're in a cathedral or a car park, God has your back. He will guard you from the evil one. And you're guaranteed to make it safely home. <laughs> your real home when your mission is complete. You may face challenges, problems, even suffering. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Hey, as we wrap up this morning, can I ask you to help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and help them get to know him and his word personally and better? Please like this video, help more people see it, and then follow or subscribe so that you and I can get together every day. And I'd really love to meet you in the comments section and hear your thoughts about our time together today and, and how it touched your heart. And that's a great place to leave a question, too. One more thing. Share it with a friend, would you? Because as you do, you're part of the team touching hearts all over the world with the love of Jesus. Thanks for helping.